Hi, this is Jim DiGiovanni with DiGiovanni Design. Today I'm excited to share with you a demo for this new Photoshop extension that we've developed specifically for print-on-demand designers. The extension is called Instant Vintage and it will take any image file and process that file to give you the classic silkscreen faded look of an old concert t-shirt. As a print-on-demand designer who sells on Merch by Amazon and a variety of other print-on-demand platforms, it's been my experience that the exact same design will sell much more consistently in the distressed version. But creating custom distressed versions for every design can be really time consuming. Here is a mock-up of the same design output in both a clean and a faded version. What we did is create three different levels of fade for you to choose from, giving you the option of just a little bit of checking and fade to a distress that makes it look like a thrift store find. And this extension is built to do this for Amazon t-shirts, hoodies, pop sockets, and KDP books. I cover installation in another video. I recommend you view that video first before viewing this one. Now, before we look at how the extension works, I want to show you the files that we're going to be processing. Here we have three PNG files. These files were originally built in Adobe Illustrator and output as PNG files from the artboards. This first one is a circle badge design built at 4500 by 5400 pixels. This second hiking t-shirt design, I specifically output this at a slightly odd size because if you're like me and you export screens from Illustrator, sometimes the artboard doesn't exactly give you the 4500 by 5400 size. I'm using this as a demo to show how Instant Vintage corrects that problem. Finally, I have an image that is not spec to merch sizes at all, just to show you how the extension sizes the graphic without any stretching or distortion. Once the extension is installed into Photoshop, you navigate to Windows, Extensions, Instant Vintage, and you get this little pop-up interface. I like to dock it right here in my panel so that it's ready to use whenever I need it. Now click the Instant Vintage button and it launches the user interface. Here I'm gonna do a brief overview and then demo the extension itself. From top to bottom, we have source folder, which is where you specify which files you plan on processing. Output folder, this is where you specify where the process files will be saved. This can either be a different folder from the source folder or the same folder as the source folder, depending on your preferred workflow. Below that, you have different products that you're going to fade and the level of fade for each product so that you can specify either light, medium, or heavy for any of the products. For example, you can have a medium fade on a t-shirt, a heavy fade on a hoodie, a light fade on a pop socket, or you can have them all the same or in any combination. Now for pop sockets, we did something a little extra where we provide the option to specify a background color. Let's say, for example, that you want all your pop sockets to be on a black background. You can simply specify that color here and the files will be saved with the background color. Or maybe you don't want to specify a background color. In that case, deselect the background button and they will save as 24-bit PNG files with transparency. Finally, in the KDP section, we built it so that you can choose any of the available KDP sizes, any of the KDP paper types, and any page count up to 400 pages and it will process your files into your final art book cover. We also built in the option for the KDP of not having a fade at all because I recognize that maybe you just need to convert your files to KDP and maybe you don't want them faded. We also built in the option to either add a background color or not. If you choose to add a background color, the files automatically saved as a PDF file because I'm assuming that you're not making any additional changes to the file and you're ready to upload. If you choose not to specify a background color because maybe you plan on adding some other graphics to your cover design later, then the image will be saved as a PNG file with a transparent background. I also wanna mention that all the files, when they are processed, will also be saved as layered Photoshop files that you can also manipulate. 
The first time you run the plugin, you will need to activate it with your license code that was provided to you in your email receipt. Once you activate the plugin, you'll get this little message. After your first run, the button will read Process and not Activate. Then when you're ready, you just select Activate or Process and go get yourself a cup of coffee. That's the overview of the process and the setup. Now we'll watch the plugin in action. Here, with Photoshop open and the Instant Vintage plugin loaded, I'm going to click on the Instant Vintage button. Now here I'm going to select the Source folder and specify this input folder on my desktop. Next, I'm going to specify the output folder on my desktop. Now I'm going to choose which products I want to create. I will choose T-shirt, medium distress, hoodie, heavy distress, pop socket, light distress, and I will choose a blue color for the background. And for the KDP, I'm going to choose no distress. I'll choose a six by nine size, cream colored paper, and 100 pages. And I will add a background color. And let's just make this dark green. Remember from the previous video that you will need to activate the plugin first with your license code. Please refer back to the previous video if you've missed that. You can process as many or as few files as you want at a time. I have run this script on more than 50 files at a time and created versions in all categories. Depending on the speed of your computer though, the process can take anywhere from a couple minutes on. Now let's go to the desktop and take a look at the output folder. Inside the output folder, you're going to find three folders, a PSD folder, a PNG folder, and a PDF folder. Inside both the PSD and PNG folders, you are going to find subfolders for each of your products, t-shirts, hoodies, pop sockets, and KDP book covers. The Photoshop folder has all of the files that are ready for additional editing. The PNG folder has files ready for upload. In this instance, the KDP folder is empty because we specified a background color and so Instant Vintage created PDF files ready for upload instead. If we look inside the PDF folder, you see the three files that we processed with the green background ready for upload. Now let's take a look at the processed files. All of the graphic files are built in a way to give you the most options if you want to modify them. When I built this plugin, I needed to make a decision on the size. Each graphic is saved out to its maximum proportional size, which means that if the design is wider than it is tall, it will be sized to the horizontal trim. If it is taller than it is wide, it will be sized to the vertical trim. I know that many merch people like to have their designs as large as possible on the mock-up, so we built it to that size. You can always modify that size later. On the pop sockets, we fit it to sit centered inside the pop socket live area. For KDP, we built it to sit just inside the trim and make sure it doesn't violate the bleed. Here I'm going to show you that I loaded up the template I downloaded from the KDP site for this size, page count, and paper type. Here you can see the pixel dimensions for the template. And here you can see the pixel dimensions for the art. They're the exact same size. I'm just going to show you quickly how each one of these graphics has been automatically resized and centered to fit inside the safe area for this KDP template. Now you've got all your Merch by Amazon print on demand files and you're ready to upload. That concludes the product demo for Instant Vintage by Chimp Deluxe. 
If you are a print-on-demand designer and you do a lot of work in Merch On Demand, this extension is going to save you a ton of time converting all your files. I think it's really cool, I'm really proud of it, and I hope you think so too. If you like it and you want to pick up a copy, you can do so by following this link. This is Jim DiGiovanni from DiGiovanni Design. Thanks for watching.